everybody. This is John with One Over Outdoors. I am heading up to Lake Watery to do some more crappy fishing. I tell you what, if we don't have enough issues going on in the world today, the pollen really is not helping anything. Uh, I, it is it has destroyed my sinuses, but <clears throat> got the good old Allegra out and uh, Hopefully, hopefully the rain we had uh, the past few days helped wash some of it away, but normally that's not the case. Um, but if you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share this video. Um, I'm going to do basically the same thing I always do, just pulling jigs, pulling those double jig rigs. Uh, if you haven't, if you don't know what kind of rig I use, there's several crappy fishing videos that I have that I show how I rig that that whole setup and uh, basically just running a 16th ounce jig on the bottom and about a two foot up running a 32nd and uh, you know that way I can run two different colors run uh, two different depths um, and I sort of jig with the trolling motor I have a power drive uh, V2 and I run between 0.7 to 0.9 on the, uh, the speed and what I normally do is I'll speed up to 0.9 and let it drop drop back off to 0.7 and, and what that does is it kind of just fluctuates those jigs into the water column um, water that I've been fishing lately is between 15 to 20 feet I know there's crappy on the bank I know people are jigging for jigging around the trees and sandy and stuff but uh, this is one of the easiest ways to catch crappy um, so if you you know you're, you're new to crappy fishing I love jigging trees don't get me wrong but <clears throat> if you want to quick way and a fast way to put some fish in the boat, tie you on some double jig rigs and uh, go out there and I, I think I'm running, I run mainly, I got uh, the longest pole I run is 13 foot and then the rest of them are 10, eight, between 8 to 10 feet and I normally just pull 6 at a time and the way I do this is the poles that are the closest to the motor, I just toss them out, I don't really, you know, just toss them out and the poles next to them throw them out a little bit further and then poles out in the very ends I, uh, I really throw them out there but uh, stay with me I'm going to get this boat put in here and uh, see if we can catch some fish and get all these set out the color that they were hitting the best the other day was um this burnt orange color right here. You see, um, you see, I got it. A little ways up, I got that blue and chartreuse as well. So it seemed to hit all them really well. Um, you don't have to go out and spend a fortune to crappy fish. These poles that you see me running right here, these little HT shooting stars, you can get them for like nine, ten bucks a piece. You know, you're talking about. A crappy, you know, you're not fishing for big catfish or something that's really gonna do some damage. But you now you can get away cheaping out on some poles. You ain't gotta go spend 50 bucks on them. Not that there's nothing wrong with the 50 dollar poles. That's, that's always nice. But you know, if you're wanting to get into this and you really don't have the funds to to go out and spend a lot of money. You don't have to spend all, all kind of money to do it. And as you see, I just threw out that side first. Closest to the motor. Then you just start working your way down. Each one a little bit further than the other one. A lot of fish on the bottom here. And there's the first. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good one there, buddy. That's a real good crappy there. Man. Yeah. It's a good fish. Got us tangled up, but it's okay. Hmm. It's a really good fish. We'll get that undone in a minute. <coughs> a lot of 
fish out here right now. Another one. Don't feel too good. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish at all. Let's see how long this one is. Got one. Anytime you try doing something fishing. Anytime you try doing something, I'm telling you. It feels like a really good fish too. Oh yeah, that's pretty crappy. Really pretty crappy. You ain't got one. Mm. Man, that's a good one. He done got wrapped up all in kind of stuff, but Whew, look at that thing. Hmm. That's a good one. Let's see how long that one is. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, nice crappy. Nice crappy. Hit yeah, that old work green I got. What we're looking at twelve. That's what I'm talking about right there. Got one. This is a good fish. This is a really good fish. Mm. Mm. Oh man, yeah. This is Slab City here. It's a good one. Big one. Look at that thing there, boy. Yeah. That's a big old crappy there, buddy. Look at that. all the darn lines. That's like a really good fish too. Oh yeah. Really nice. Good crappy. Easy, buddy. It's a 
Good crap, right there. That's what I'm talking about right there. I'm sitting here drinking water. Sitting here drinking water. Oh yeah, pretty crappy. Pretty crappy. Hit that old orange and green. Come on, there you go. Pretty crazy. What's up everybody heading home had a, had a great time today uh did not catch as many fish as i did on the last video uh, but i think i ended up with like 10 uh, which isn't bad i didn't stay up there but a couple hours but i caught some big fish some really really nice slabs um i didn't catch a single fish under 12 inches and <clears throat> i think the biggest one was right at 15 inches i actually had two right at 15 inches um but uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can you know, stay up to date with everything I got going on. I do have a drawing. At five, I'm at 353 subscribers now. So at 500 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away, and it's winner's choice, um, either the uh, Boo Garcia catfish combo, and I will set it up uh, just like how I fish. I'll put the line that I use on it. I'll put... Uh, Santee rig on it like I use everything um, or the winner can choose a loose bait casting combo for bass um, definitely not going to cheap out on them uh, we'll spend some money I don't mind doing it just my way of giving back to y'all but make sure you go ahead and, and hit that like button go ahead and subscribe to the channel get your friends to subscribe to the channel and uh, you know I got a lot it's, it's just the beginning of the year um, so we got a lot of fishing to do. Uh, got a lot of cat fishing to do, a lot of bass fishing to do. Uh, obviously some crappy fishing coming up. But if there's something you'd like to see, you know, fishing wise me do, a brim trip, shell cracker trip, uh, let me know, drop in the comment. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, I do a variety of fishing. I don't focus on just really one species. I try to, you know, hit all, hit about every species we can with, with the lakes we have around here <clears throat> but uh, once again thanks for all the love and support of the channel um, with, without y'all I, I wouldn't be able to do what I do and, and um, definitely been overwhelming the, the support that I've gotten check me out on Roku on the one on the uh, Carolina Outdoors Adventure Channel but, uh, but once again thanks for watching and God bless